Hi, so I'm Gian, and for my mini lecture for chapter 4, my topic is going to be to describe the general structure of a neuron and the types and functions of neurons. <clears throat> so to start, a neuron, or a nerve cell, is the basic functional unit of the nervous system. Its main function is to receive and transmit messages between the brain and the rest of the nervous system throughout the body. And its structure is what really allows for a neuron to communicate with other cells and transmit information. The part of a neuron that receives information from other neurons are also known as dendrites. Dendrites are connected to the cell body, which contains the nucleus, and the cell body is basically the core section of the neuron. And this is joined together with the axon, or a nerve fiber. There's usually one main axon per neuron that carries these electrical impulses or the information that was received away from the neuron to be transmitted to other receiving neurons. So now that we've talked about the structure of a neuron, let's dive deeper into the three types of neurons and its respective functions. So the three types of neurons are sensory, motor, and interneurons. Sensory neurons, also known as afferent neurons, send neural impulses or signals to the central nervous system or the CNS from sensory receptors. So these are essentially the neurons that help us process like information from our environment. So for example, if you were to touch a hot surface, the sensory neurons would be the ones that send signals to the rest of your nervous system to elicit a response based on the information they received. And that would be like taking your hand off that hot surface, right? Motor neurons, on the other hand, or efferent neurons, carry impulses from the central nervous system to effectors like muscles, glands, and neurons. It's through the innervation of these muscles and glands that allow for both voluntary and involuntary movements to occur. And there are two types of these motor neurons, the first being alpha motor neurons and the second being gamma motor neurons. Um, alpha motor neurons are found in the spinal cord and have a long branching axon that connects to and innervates skeletal muscles and voluntary muscle tissue. And gamma motor neurons innervate intrafusal muscle fibers and contain sensory receptors. And the third type of neurons are known as inner neurons. And these are specialized neurons that originate and terminate in the brain or spinal cord and basically exist within the CNS. And they are used to connect sensory neurons and the spinal nerves that go up the brain and also connect axons that descend from the brain to the motor neurons. And they basically function as the middleman between afferent and efferent neurons. So I hope that explains the general structure and the function and different types of neurons. Thank you so much for listening.